What's up everybody? Tendo here and here's what's going on in today's episode. A couple of things, all right? We've got to do some work around the house, get some stuff finished, get some stuff that we've sold over the last couple days shipped out, and then we've got to open a package that one of you guys sent in. I'm super excited about that. But lastly, we've got a, let's just say, extra special gaming system laying around that we need to get plugged up to see if it's gonna work. Let's just call it that, an extra special gaming system. Stick around. All right, let's get some labels printed. Did not sell a whole lot of clothes yesterday. Hannah sold one pair of shorts and I sold, what did I sell? A shirt. A shirt. A shirt. I sold a shirt, she sold a pair of pants. So we'll go get that off of there. But there's Hannah's shorts. Let's print off the label for my shirt. What shirt did I sell? I sold a, I sold a Harley Davidson tank, that's what it was. I took an offer on it, it's been up for ever. So I, someone was like, I'll give you 15 for it. I was like, cool. We'll take. All right. There's my shirt. We haven't, we didn't sell anything. We didn't sell anything on eBay yesterday, right? Two things on eBay. Two things on eBay. Maybe we sold more than I thought we did. All right. We sold a copy of Wii Sports Resort and we sold, oh, a stack of Lone Wolf role-playing game books. That's awesome. You guys remember us buying those Lone Wolf books on our cross-country trip? Finally just sold them. We found these padded envelopes at the Goodwill bins, paid practically nothing for them, and they're perfect for shipping video games. I don't know about you, but I get all my supplies at the Goodwill bins. Well, I guess I should say that in past tense. I got all of my supplies at the Goodwill bins. Uh, we've not been doing a lot of that this week, have we? All right, here's the label for the books. Now, let's get the Tendo, let's get the Tendo's trash labels. Here's the label for that Tendo tee. All right, this next guy. <laughs> Let me show you what this next order is. I just, there's no other way for you to understand except for me to show you. This next order, not only is it two Wiimote stands, this guy bought Snorklocks. I can't believe somebody actually bought Snorklocks. Uh, I, I made it on an episode a week or so ago. I've been making a bunch of clocks like this to sell at our toy booth whenever the world opens back up from coronavirus and uh, I didn't expect anybody to buy it, buy it here on the site. I expected someone to buy it in our toy booth eventually, but uh, it did make it to the toy booth and I'm really excited about it. So yeah, snore clocks. And then for this order, let's grab, let's get this bad boy right here off of the 3D printer that there's a Wiimote stand. There it is. Here's one Wiimote stand. We'll go ahead and take another one off the shelf. There's two Wiimote stands, and then I'll get another Wiimote stand to replace the one I just took off the shelf. So, uh, let's see who ordered this. James, snore clocks, two stands on the way. Hannah is sizing snore clocks for a box, and uh, we unfortunately have to pull the battery out of them. All right, so here's the snore clocks label. You will be missed, snore clocks. You will be missed. All right, and then last label. What do we sell? We sold we sold a pair of Tendo shades and a Tendo decal. Let me go get the shades. Somebody actually finally bought a yellow pair of Tendo shades. They're my favorite ones. And these are my second favorite I got on today. But uh, we'll get these shipped out. All right, here's the label for the Tendo shades. We'll get all these boxed up and then we're heading to the post office. We're at the post office now. We're gonna drop off some packages, but I'm also gonna check the PO box while I'm in there because I haven't checked it in a few days. Stopping by the post office real quick, drop off some mail. I'll check the PO box while I'm in there too. Hey. Number 101. Let's go. Oh God, that's, that's so heavy. I'm not kidding you. This might be the heaviest package I've ever gotten. It says two Tindo from Heisler. Let's go. All right, sweet. Uh, we'll open this at the end of the video. This is like the heaviest package we've ever gotten and it's not anywhere near the biggest, which is kind of crazy. What is in here? 
I want you to feel how heavy this is. Oh, no. Oh, God! <laughs> what did you say to those bricks? It's what it feels like. It's so heavy, but small. Ugh. I'm excited. What's in here? I don't know, but it's heavy. All right, well, I guess we'll open this box of bricks uh, here in just a few, so stick around. What do you know about that old thing right there? This has been sitting on my studio floor for like two months, well before the coronavirus pandemic broke out and uh, I haven't even tested it. Uh, these had some pretty cool games on them back in the day. I'm just hoping this has some of those games on them so I can play them. Before I get the mouse and keyboard though, we're gonna just plug it up, see if it comes on. All right. She's got juice. Let's see if she's got life. <laughs> it's a good start. Come on. Doesn't look like the screen is on yet. Hey, I got something. Now have our operating system, please. Please have an operating system. Let's go. OS 9. Look at that background. There we go. We've got a mouse. Now let's see if I can find any games on here. Let's see. I have not. Ooh, Sherlock 2. What's up? Computer. All right, here we go. Apple Extras Applications Games. Let's go. Let's go. Heroes 3, MDK, Nano, SAR. This is the one. Let's go. I'm so hyped right now. I'm so hyped. Oh no, this application Nanosaur has unexpectedly quit because an error of type two occurred. You should save your work and other open applications and research computer. Come on, you gotta work. There's a, the Sims is on here. Nanosaur is what I wanna play though. Let's run it again. We got, we got action. Please don't crash, it crashed. Let's run the Sims. There's not enough memory to open the Sims. All right, okay. Cool. Oh, I want Nanosaur to work though. Heroes 3. <laughs> Let's go. It's a 3DO game. And this one's going to have a CD ROM. Gosh dang it. I just want to play one game. <laughs> Don't crash, Nanosaur. All right, well, I'm not going to be able to play Nanosaur today, but comment below if you remember this game. I remember, God, it had to be whenever it came out, whenever this Mac came out. I could have been eight or nine years old. Uh, my cousin. My cousin's wife had Nanosaur on her iMac, the same iMac, I think she had the red one, and uh, we played it as kids a ton. Well, I'm pretty bummed, I really wanted the old iMac to work, I really wanted to play some of those old classic games I remember as a kid, but I'm not giving up. Since the computer itself is in great working order, I just need to come across an installation disk or something to get a fresh OS install on there maybe. Maybe that'll do it, I really don't know, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep it in the, in the game room for now. I honestly did all this today because I was gonna throw it away if it didn't work, but I think it's working just enough to keep it. What do you think? You guys do comment below if you know anything about these old guys, or I'd really be interested to know if anybody keeps uh, any older Mac era computers at home to play some games on. I'm really curious to find that out, so comment below. And wait a second, it's not over. I went searching online for the files, and we've got Nanosaur files, the full version, 1.3.4 for Mac OS 9, and uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna download both of those and try to get them over here on the Mac. I don't know how difficult this is gonna be because I don't really remember now that it's been 100 years. I don't remember how you have to get things on there. Are these old Macs even compatible with thumb drives? I just don't remember. I don't, I do have the ability to burn a disc, but not easy. And it's, uh, we're just, we're gonna have to find out. Go ahead and download the full version as well as the update. We're gonna play this game if I can help it. This might all end up being a complete failure, but we're gonna to try to we're gonna to try to play this game. So got a few minutes on the download. We'll be right back. All right, this box right here is full of thumb drives and uh, just all kinds of old and new computer nonsense. I've got extra floppy drives in here in case I need that sort of thing. So I'm gonna get one of my older thumb drives because I have a suspicion that anything you before USB 3.0 will probably in some way be compatible with the old iMac. So uh, just make sure I've got one I know doesn't have anything on it. 
shouldn't be a problem. All right, I think I'm gonna use, now let's use this. Something I picked up at the thrift store. Let's see if this will work with the iMac. Really wish it had more than two USB drives. Does it have any anywhere else? I don't think so. All right. How difficult are you gonna make this for me, you old computer? Trash. USB disc, let's go. All right. The USB drive worked automatically with the Mac. So all we gotta do is wait for that to finish downloading. It's got four minutes left. And then we're gonna put a fresh install of Nanosaur on this computer. I will play this game or I'm gonna go to bed crying tonight. So while the file is still downloading, let's go see what Hannah's doing. What are you doing? I'm making apple butter. Apple butter? Well, right now it's like applesauce, but I'm putting in the spices right now. Just gotta find my recipe. Let's see. I need sugar, brown sugar, ground cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, lemon juice, and vanilla extract. And vanilla extract. Cool. <laughs> Very nice. All right, well, I guess let me know when it's done. I'll stick my finger in it. Sounds good. It's really hot right now, so we'll do it right now. <laughs> All right. It has zero seconds left. Nanosore.dmg is done. I have the thumb drive in the back of the computer. Now let's see if it's gonna make it difficult for me to drag it over. All right, let's just drag it over onto the USB stick. And go. All right, we're about to put the thumb drive in the computer, but I'm sitting here trying to make the screen not flutter so much, which if you know much about cameras, you adjust your shutter speed, and usually you can make a screen not look so bad. So I've made it look a little better, but I can't quite match the refresh rate of it with my shutter speed. So no matter what I do, it's gonna be a little blinky. And unfortunately, this being such an old Mac, I'm not gonna be able to run a cable out of it to capture it. So if we do get the game working, that's about the best it's gonna look. But let's put this thumb drive in. All right, come on, Nanosaur, we gotta play it. This brings back a lot of memories. All right, Nanosaur, you will be mine. You know what I think I'm running in here too? I think that DMG file is maybe gonna have to be turned into an ISO and put on a disc. I don't know, but it does not wanna run it. I wonder if I can get on the, you can't get on the internet on this thing anymore, right? That'd be wild. Ethernet cable, it's worth a shot. I, there's no way. There's no way, right? There's absolutely no way you can still get on the World Wide Net. Yep, because it doesn't even take Cat5, so. Well, we're striking out here. It doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to get it to work today. I'm trying real hard, but uh, there's a couple things limiting me, the hard drive space and uh, the desktop memory. They're just both overloaded, so I'll probably, once today's video is over, kinda spend some time either trying to find a full reset for this, or I don't know, I'll do something, because the, the computer's running smoothly. I just can't really get it to run any applications. I guess so that won't be a complete and total letdown for some of you that don't know what this game that I was just talking about looks like. Let's go ahead and take a look at it right here. piece of tape on that. All right, we're about to sit down and get... Okay, we're about to sit down and get that package open, but real quick, I wanna get this new 3D printed file off of the 3D printer. There we go, not bad and we're gonna go ahead and get it back on the shelf. There we go. Now, we're all caught up. But one more thing I wanna show you before we get started. Here's the camera that I bought on yesterday's episode. Just thought maybe you'd like to see it. Hannah's already sitting in front of it, and we properly have our dual audio set up so you can hear Hannah and you can hear me. Now, let's get started on this beautiful package. But you know what we need to get this package open? A BRB. That's what we need. All right. So 
This is from Heisler. Heisler, this package is heavy. What is in here? Uh, all right, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay. I can't, I can't get down in there. Well, there's something right on top. Ooh. Grab that. Oh my gosh. I saw what it is. Show the camera. It's a little bullet bill. It's a little pixel bullet bill. That's so cute. All right, there is a note and a protective piece of paper, which I have cut through. Oops. All right. Let's say, okay to read on your channel. Thanks for letting me know. That always makes me feel more comfortable doing so. Uh, hi, Tidno and Hannah Warrior Princess. Just want to say, love the channel. Keep up the good work. Here are some magazines and some gifts. Enjoy it. From GBA Gamer 211. Super pumped right now. There's a lot of, there's a lot of colorful <laughs> things in here. All right, let me put the note away. All right, I guess just stick your hand in there and start pulling stuff out. This seems thick. What is oh, it? Oh, it's a, it's a case for a, uh, I don't know which handheld. Are you kidding me? Please read. There's another note. I've never gotten a second note. DSI, one of the hinges is broken, but it works. Uh, thought you would like it to display with your Pokemon or your Game Boy handheld. Oh my gosh. <gasps> No way. My man. Oh, I don't have any, uh, of, I don't have any printed on game, uh, DSs of any kind at all. That's oh so my gosh. Beautiful. That's the best thing I've ever seen. And it's got its own case. Yes, this will be going on display on the Pokemon shelf as soon as we're done with this. Oh my gosh. Whoops, I started with the best thing. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you buried the lead on that one. My bad. <laughs> That's so great. I'm so hype about that. All right, and, uh, an 8-bit Mario for the Mario Shelf. This is oh, that's so cool. <laughs> it's the biggest Yoshi I have. Well, unless you want to count the plushies. I feel like he's like nice and rubbery. Oh, wow. What is this? So cool. Oh, it's a little Mario Kart game. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a magnet. The carts sit on a magnet. I think I'm going the wrong way. Well, maybe I'm going the right way. Isn't that awesome? That's going on the, those are like, we're gonna have to make room on the Mario shelf or make it bigger. Yeah. All right, I think everything else is a big stack of magazines. And I, uh, inside the box, I can see the back of a magazine. I don't even care what's on front. Okay, maybe I do. <laughs> the back's got Freeze and the front's got Goku. Game Informer, that's beautiful. I can't wait. Can't wait to one of these days display my favorite issues of Game Informer on a front facing shelf. That'll be one of them. Very nice, Game Informer. Uh, an E3 edition of Game Informer. Beautiful. Ooh, I don't have this uh, Assassin's Creed Origins one. Well, I, I've only, I've got the E3 one. That was one I did have. Ooh, that's beautiful. I just saw so many colors in the box just then. Yeah. What game is this? Uh, Hellblade. Oh. Uh, Uncharted. I love me some Uncharted. Ooh, you know who that is? Let's go. There's a Zelda issue I don't have. That's beautiful. It's like watercolor painting. Let's go. And then Overwatch. I love that. Prey. I'm going to have to. You know what the worst part about? No, okay. I keep being like hyperbolic. I was going to say the worst part of the coronavirus. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's not even something I should complain about, but I've been s speedily collecting these magazine holders to put on my shelves, right? And now that we're all shut down, I can't get more. Ooh, I don't have that either. I don't have, I've only seen one that I have. So hitting the nail on the head here. Call of Duty. There's so many in there. Dishonored too. I don't have that. There is. It just keeps going. Well, now we know why it's so heavy. Final Fantasy. 15, Gears of War 4, let's go. This, I think we're about halfway through. Uh, Star Wars Lego. Uh, just in case you collect Game Informer, be aware there's multiple, multiple versions of that cover. We found out the hard way when we were going through my collection. Doom, beautiful. Very nice. 
virtual reality is what that's supposed to symbolize. Uh, Quantum Break, very nice. Mafia 3, lovely. Destiny. <laughs> still, still a few more. Uh, Tacoma, I don't have that one, beautiful. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Wow, this is an early one. This is 53. This is, I think this is your oldest one now. Yeah, it probably is. Um, and this is a gaming manual for Manhunt. Let's go. I will put that in the game manual stack. I'm not familiar with this game. Comment below, somebody tell me whether or not we need to play that one. Well, what's your favorite thing? <laughs> this almost feels like a good, I mean, it does. It feels like a good thrift trip. We yeah, just didn't does. have to go thrifting. <laughs> so thanks for that. This is this nuts. This is so beautiful. This is nutso. Pokemon black and white. Uh, well, I guess what I'm gonna spend the rest of the night doing until I have to sit down and edit is printing a stand for this. I actually, I haven't printed any DSi stands yet because the measurements I have for the stands that I have printed don't quite fit for the DSi, so. Oh, it's a DS Lite. I do, what am I talking about? Did he say it was a, okay, it's fine. Uh, I just, I'm tripping. If I've been saying DSi Lite the whole time, I'm tripping. There it is. We've already got a stand. Let's go. Yeah, the, the simple black one can be demoted. Oh, yeah. We can just leave the black one off the shelf. I'll put that away and leave the, the pretty one up there. I'm so hyped about that. Thank you so much for sending that. Um, I'm speechless. I don't know what to do. And uh, I guess on tomorrow's episode, we'll have to reorganize the Mario shelf because there's some dope stuff here that I've never even seen. I've yeah, never cool. seen this. But guys, thanks for hanging out today. I'm sorry we couldn't get that uh, Mac computer working, but it'll be another ongoing project for uh, Quarantendo. I'll get it working before we get out of here and we'll have to play some. Uh, if not, I'll find some emulator or something and we'll play it on a stream or something. I don't know. But guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Definitely come back tomorrow. We'll be doing more of the same. And uh, let's, let's, uh, let's talk about a couple things before we get out of here. Do me a favor and go on over to our Discord and join that. It's a community forum where you can come chat with us and come chat with other members of the forum. And uh, it's a pretty good place to be right now because everybody's kind of at home or not working. And uh, it's a pretty busy and bustling place right now. So join it if you haven't already. It's a good time. Also, before you go, check out Tindostrash.com. Some of these uh, stands that I've been showing off, these 3D printed stands. You just saw one. You saw my Wii remote stands earlier. They are for sale on Tindostrash.com. Uh, well, you also saw us sending them out today. We've been selling a few every day. So if you're interested for some for your collection, go check that out. And also before you go, hit the subscribe button pretty please. We're almost to 1,700 subs. I would like to get to uh, 17 or 18 or but dare I say 2,000 subs before uh, we're all released back into the wild. So please, pretty please. Go hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And then everybody, if you are subscribed, hit that notification bell because we're going to post a video tomorrow doing something, delving further into the madness. So go hit that notification bell so that when we post a video tomorrow, you'll get a notification as soon as it's up and you can come back then and hang out with us then. Until then, guys, peace out.